sleep okay? Mm, first time in a week. <laughs> I bet it was great to be back in your own bed, wasn't it? <sighs> Too right. I don't think I could have taken another night of Sally and Tim's noises. Oh, tell me you mean snoring. I do not. <laughs> How'd you sleep? I didn't. I was thinking maybe it'd be nice for us to go and um, do something together later. Yeah. Drive out of town. Yeah. Go for a walk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or uh, maybe have some lunch somewhere. Why would I want to go out for lunch? Because I thought it'd be nice if we spent some time together, you know. Mm. The only person I want to spend time with right now is my son. Maybe I shouldn't have come back after all. Change my mind. Okay, great. Good idea. Can't really go walking in them shoes, though, babe. I don't want to go for a walk. I want to go out for lunch. Celebrate the fact I can wear high heels again. Are you sure are you? Oh, you were the one that was trying to persuade me to go, and now that I want to, you've changed your mind. I think it's a great idea. Take your time. I can sort all this. Right, I'll uh, go and get ready then. Well, I hope this isn't going to be a repeat of the last time. What happened last time? You left before the main course. Oh, yeah, well, this time I promised to stay for the dessert. Thank you. Well, yeah, but I've just lost two members of staff, so I need someone today. Right, is that not what your agency does then? Do you know what? Forget it. I'll, I'll try someone else. Uh, hold on. Just needed to get out of the pub. Well, good. Yeah, uh, just a uh, quiet table, please, mate. You know, a bit of lunch. Yeah, and a bottle of red. I'm going to uh, have beer, babe. So? Uh, take a seat wherever you like. I'll bring your drinks over. Should I go over? And say what? Sorry about you. Know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe leave it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, here we go. No, I'm not in. Uh, no, not till three. Poor old Leanne, eh? Won't be able to work much longer, will she? Mm? Sleepless nights with a screaming baby stuck in that flat. Makes me feel lucky. Do you want a picture? Shell. What? Calm down. No, it says in the leaflet that anger is a very common reaction and that I should, what is it, feel free to express my feelings. Another bottle, please, Robert. Oh, steady on. Oh, why? It's not like I'm breastfeeding her out, is it? Hey. I wish someone would tell my breast that. Steve seems to think I need to slow down. I, however, I'm out for a good time. I've earned it. Robert? Robert, come out here and do your job. Robert! I told you to mind your own business. What are you looking at? They're looking at you because you're drunk. Oh, really? Well, maybe. I've got good reason. I think we should go, don't we? No, you? I haven't finished yet. Robert! Uh, everything all right? Yeah, can we have the bill, please, mate? Mm -hmm. Why don't you join us, eh? Pour yourself a glass of that. It's time <clears throat> to go. I would like to propose a toast. 
to Rory. My dead son. Shall. No. No, no. Because that leaflet also said you may wish to tell your story over and over again. I had to give birth to my sleeping baby. I held him in my arms. And tomorrow, I have to cremate him in a tiny white coffin. To Rory. And there being absolutely no point without you. No, Steve, get off me! Maybe give us some space. How was it? Oh, I didn't see the state of it. Hey? She did come back, didn't she? No. What happened? She stormed out, left her coat, a bag, everything. You didn't go after her? No, she would flipping let me. Well, where, where is she then? She won't have gone far. Give her a ring. Don't panic. Mum, it's freezing out there. No, it's all right, thanks anyway. Okay. Right, she's not flying horse either. Where else have you tried? Everywhere. All the friends. I should let you go after her. It's not your fault. Maybe she went for a walk, trying to sober up. She's not got a coat, has she? Well, she'll have got a coffee somewhere. You heard what she said. There's no point without Rory. That, that doesn't mean anything. Well, she said stuff like this before. I never took her seriously, but what if she... I think we need to get a search party together. I'm, I'm sure she's all right. <sighs> We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour. the drives to keep an eye out. What's she wearing? Uh, black pants, uh, like a sparkly top. She's got no coat. What's she got inside somewhere? No money. We'll talk her back. We'll still try all the cafes we can. Cab firms, bus stations, anywhere she might got shelter. Right, well, me and Tim will take the Red Wreck, Williams Park. She likes it then, does she? What about the canal? She walks there sometimes. I'll take that. All right, everyone, let's go. Yeah, you sure you don't want me to go on my own? No, no, I want to go and find her. <clears throat> I'll stop here. <laughs> Never a left. It's not your fault. She needs me close so I can see that now. You can tell her that when we find her. <sighs> These are the swings she was on when she first felt Rory kicking. We were with Amy. She kept going higher and higher. I kept telling her to stop and... That's when she felt him. If anything happens to her, Tim, I'll never forgive myself. Well, she's all like me when she's drunk. She'll be slumped on the bench with a kebab. Well, she's not drunk, is she? She's grieving, Tim. She's grieving. Why didn't I go after her? I should have gone after her, shouldn't I? Well, we'll find her. Well, I'll tell you, when we do find her, I'm never leaving the side again. Please, hi. Uh, no, not yet. Right, what about Johnny and Kate? No, OK. Don't worry, I'll keep looking. Michelle! Michelle! You must be freezing. Let me give you my call. Stay away. 
we're, we're all really worried about you. Steve and Liz and, and everyone. We just want you to come home. Why? There's nothing to come home for. I just want to be with my son. Take my hand. I can't bear to think of him there. All on his own. Billy asked me what I wanted to put in the coffee. And all I could think of was me. Me. I should be there with him. Holding him. I'm his mummy. Oh, Michelle. I don't think I can live without him being alive. But you can. You can. You can. You can keep him alive. In your heart. If you live, you can live. Take my hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's okay. I don't want it, me. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll bring her on. She. She doesn't want to fuss. Yeah, yeah, of course. He's desperately worried about you. Is he? Well, you know he is. Steve doesn't understand anything I'm going through. But that's not true. I lie awake every night. All churned up. And he's just lying there, flat on his back, sleeping like. I wish I could take away your pain. No. I thought you said you had feelings for me. Yeah, I, I do. I, I do have feelings for you. But this is... This isn't what you want. Oh, what? Why does everyone think they know what I want? What I feel? What I need? No one understands. Not Steve, not Liz, not you. No one understands. <laughs> She's all right, though. Yeah, apparently. What was she doing on the viaduct? But she's okay, hey. I offered to pick her up. You said he'd bring her home, so she didn't want to fuss. Probably just didn't want to see me. She probably feels embarrassed with everybody looking for her. I would. Yeah. She probably just wanted some headspace. Hey, we'll all have to look after her tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Right. Time to get a glass of some downers. Come on. You know, so that behind the bar. Do right. <laughs> Every cloud, eh? Uh, I should call us a can. I don't want to go home. Okay, so. Uh... Where do you want to go? I don't want to go anywhere. I 
know Steve cares. I know he does. I just don't get how he can be so normal on the surface. Can't stand to be around him. I know that's not fair. It's just he keeps trying to make it better. Like like a bit of a cuddle's gonna make it all okay. I've said it. I hate him. He doesn't seem to understand that every time I look at him, I see our son. And aside from the, the grief, I feel guilty. I know it's not my fault. But I feel like it is. And I feel like a failure. <sighs> oh, God, look at me. <sighs> How am I going to get through the funeral tomorrow? Don't wear any makeup. <sighs> I do know where I want to go. Where? Rory. I know that's daft. Why is that daft? Well, uh, chapel arrest doesn't open for hours. Just, I just feel like I need to be near him. Well, then that's where we'll go. Can we walk? It's miles away. I just, I just feel like I need to walk. You can do whatever you want. I just um, need one more thing from you. Anything? These socks. I'm walking these shoes. <laughs> Filthy. I think you might put a hole in the toe. Yeah, keep them. Really? No, I'm joking. I really want them back. Thank you. It's fine. I didn't even like them that much. Not for the socks. I haven't, I haven't done anything. You've listened. You won't let me get a word in. I'm serious. You're a good friend to me, my but... such an idiot. Pushing Steve away like that. Pretending he's the thing that I hate. He's grieving too. I just wouldn't let myself see it. I was too busy being angry with him. But then if I had seen it, I'd have had to stop being angry, wouldn't I? I had to face my own sadness. And now I've got to face it. No. I wish Steve was here. I want Steve. Well, that can be arranged. Uh, yeah, she's just in there. Checked up on her a few minutes ago. She was sleeping. Is she okay? Uh, yeah, she's fine. Well, you know. Oh, listen, cheers, mate. Oh, you want? No, don't be daft. Hello. 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 Hello.
came. Because I came. Steve, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're all right. I was worried the soul. I just needed to get away, that's all. I know. Is, uh, is Robert still here? Yeah, he's outside, yeah. Take his coat to him. Oh, hey, you all right? Yeah. Thanks for calling Steve and, and for that. And, um, thanks for being there when you were... If you hadn't been, then... Hey, you'd have been fine. You made strong stuff, you are. You, you won't tell him, will you, that I... Oh, of course not. I won't tell anyone. Well, at best... You don't mind me putting Ryan's teddy in and, and do the stuff in, do you? No. I should have talked to you about it. I shouldn't have cut you out. It's, it's fine. Probably best you <laughs> dealt with all this anyway. I still can't believe this is happening. I don't want to say goodbye to him. <laughs> I never even got to say hello. It'll be all right, babe. I'll be here yeah, be more. No, I just... I just wanted to be the three of us. Just, just me, you, Rory, the family. Like, like we should have been. Oh, no. Please, Steve. It's the last time we're going to be with him. Please. OK, OK, yes. Come, come on, be back again. Ready, him. Then I never get to see his little face again. I never get to touch him again. Come on, eh? Let's go. Oh, thank goodness. I have been worried sick. I know, I'm sorry. Don't be daft. Hey, as long as you're all right. Yeah, I'm just going to go and get ready. She's OK. Yeah, she's fine. Right, is this all right? I didn't know if you wanted to oh, no, I'm really sorry, but Michelle just wants it to be me and her at the funeral. Oh. It's not what I would have wanted, but she's so fragile, I don't want to push it. No, no, of course not. Hey, it's fine. Don't you worry. Are you sure? I'm positive. Go on, then. Go get changed. I'm sorry we're closed today. Go got a delivery for uh, Mrs McDonald. I don't remember ordering out. Oh, it says here it's a Moses basket. Look, I'm really sorry. I've changed my mind. Can you take it back? Ah, sorry, love, no can do. I'm just paid to deliver. Can you sign here for me, please? Cheers. Steve, I'm so, so sorry. Michelle must be in bits. I would have come round, but I didn't think that... Well... 
Bet you wish it was me and not her, don't you? No. I won't wish that on anyone. I'm sorry, I just feel so guilty. Me too. Listen, our cab's here, so... Michelle, the cab's here, babe. Sorry about the mess. I would have washed up, but I couldn't seem to get myself shifted. Well, when you get to that stage... I was wondering, have you gotten yourself a crib yet? Er, uh, no. All right. OK. Would you like this one? I ordered it months ago. And... Then, with everything that's happened, it wouldn't clean out of my head. They delivered it. Today, of all days. I didn't want them to see it. It would just be too cruel. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll have it. Thank you. Thanks, I'd be honoured. Oh, good, thank you. Hey, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. It's just you were the first person I thought of. No, it's fine. Thank you. Right. right. Shouldn't you be on your way to the funeral? Yeah. No. They want her to go on their own, which I totally understand. It's just, uh, I really wanted to say goodbye to him. Now I don't know what to do. We are here today to say goodbye to Rory, your precious son. To pray for him and for each other. To celebrate him and to remember him. This is your time now, your time with Rory. So if there's anything you'd like to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just him. It's just a quote. I don't know who from, but it just kind of sums it all up, really. Those we've held in our arms for a little while, we hold in our hearts forever. I love you, Ron. Steve? Yeah, I've, I've um, got one of those poems that you gave me. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Take your time. What's the point of the poem? Oh, what is my son back?
such a good time together, me and you, little man. Gonna go to county, play football, climb trees, all the things your sister hates. Me and your uncle Andy used to climb a tree when we were kids. It seemed so big then, but it's, it's only small, really. And my dad would stand at the bottom and say, jump and I'll catch you. And he always did. In his strong arms and um, that's what I was going to do with you. Every time you jumped, I was going to catch you. Keep me safe. Because that's what dads do, isn't it? Keep me safe. I'm so sorry I couldn't, Rory. I love you, son. It's gone. Yeah. It's not fair. isn't it? And every time I look at it, I'm going to think about Rory. Bless him. Hey, and thanks. It was a great idea. Well, I think they'll be back soon. I expect they'll want a bit of space. Well, come back to mine for a coffee, if you want. Oh, you sure? Yeah. OK, thanks. I'll just... Go get cleaned up a bit. Hey. You OK? Yeah, yeah, he's just kicking a bit, that's all. <gasps> Sorry. No, don't be. A healthy baby is so much to celebrate, not to feel bad about. <gasps> Sorry, go on. Surprise. Uh, uh, sorry. It's okay. I can take mine back. I'm sure I'll find somebody who. Hold well, on. You, you bought it? Well, yeah, but <laughs> the thing right, is. Why would you buy something like that for us? Nick, look, you don't understand it. Oh, no, no, I think I do. You know, don't you? Did you tell her? Steve did. Did you know about this? Yeah, well, she's not going to tell anybody, is she? And as for the Moses basket, it it was meant for Rory. Well, uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to take it back. Yeah, I know that, but yeah, even if I hadn't bought one, I wouldn't accept it. This is our baby. It's nothing to do with you. Nick. Liz. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Honest. How could you do that? Today of all days. Okay. I was hoping it'd be a clear night. Sounds daft, but... That rainbow. 
felt like a sign that he was all right. Sort of comforting, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I was hoping there might be a star shining a bit brighter than the rest. Make me feel the same way, but there's nothing. You reminded me once when I was depressed that even though you can't see the stars, they're still there. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Hmm. Well, so is Rory. Some time away would have made life a lot less stressful. Nick. Okay. Okay. I see your point. I'm sorry about last week. Look, we should be enjoying this pregnancy now, you and me. Probably never go through it ever again. Yeah, I know. Oh, Moak, you having a domestic? No, 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 we're fine. Mm. Blood pressure, just saying. So, are you excited for your spa session this afternoon? Oh, too right. <laughs> oh, I've ordered some little bits of food as well, if that's OK. Oh, lovely. You're not, like, having any weird cravings for soil or coal or whatever? No. Although, I wouldn't mind a pickled gherkin dipped in custard. Oh! <laughs> All right, Rumi. Any of those uh, rushes going spare? Well, help yourself. Huh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I thought I might return some of uh, Kathy's bits and bobs. Oh. He's been giving me nightmares. Dreamt he came alive at the witching hour and gave me a catastrophic haircut. Made me a dead ringer for Les from Bay City Rollers. Be my baby. Uh, Roy, can I get a latte, please? Certainly. You just gotta forget about Steve. It's just biology. But we're gonna be a family. There's no greater commitment than that. You've been here before. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'd look, um, I know it feels like we've been here before. But I haven't. And I've never felt this happy. <laughs> oh, that's cheesy. Oh. Got you. Oh well. I can't get away with it now, when can I, eh? Hold on. Yeah, go on then. Ooh, rhubarb and custard. They never let you down, do they? Huh. Unlike some people I could mention. Oh, yeah? Anyone I know? Yeah, Peter. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, he's meant to be working, but he's gone AWOL. Gone looking for his new woman. No, no, he's just been round our flat. Has he? Hmm. Yeah. He told me that he was going to find his new bird, Wilma. Wilma? <laughs> yeah, Wilma. I can't say I've ever met a Wilma. If there's ever an alias, that's it. Anyway, he wanted to make up with her because I'd had a Barney. You get it? What? Barney. Barney Rubble. Fred Flintstone's uh, mate. <laughs> Fred's wife mm. was called Wilma, wasn't she? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> that drink from you. Yeah. Thanks. There you go. Hey, how are you feeling? Sorry, stupid question. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm fine. What about you? Are you... Oh, uh, just a bit of high blood pressure. Right, we should... Um... Yeah, I should... Um... Good to see you. Yeah, you too. So, Eva and Toya probably think I'm a prize cow for not inviting him, but I couldn't care less. There's no way I want him at the wedding. So. Sure. Only I saw two invites stowed away on the shelf there. The spares. <laughs> right, OK. Whatever you say. All right. I just keep thinking, what if further down the line we managed to get over what happened? And how would you feel if they weren't there? Well, they're your sisters. It's up to you. It just makes me blood boil every time I think about Toya and Peter. <laughs> Well, look, no matter what we think of it, it's something to think of. And, yeah, for what it's worth, I think it's great he's spending time with his dad. And Toya's obviously fond of him and, uh, well, Peter loves him to bits. 
What's come over you? <laughs> uh, must be going soft. So, do you want me to get those invites? No, it's all right. I know where they are. Listen, I'm just going to check in with Sai. I fancy an early night, to be honest. <sighs> oh, voicemail. Uh, probably in the middle of a game or something. Look, I'll stay up. Why don't you go to bed? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Just got some work to finish up. Thanks. You're an angel. <laughs> I'll take this with me. <laughs> Honestly, they never stopped feeding us. This one loved it, obviously. <laughs> yes, so from now on, I will expect a full Irish breakfast every morning on the tray with a pot of strong tea. Very strong tea. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I am glad you had a nice time. Though. Yeah, we did. It was good just being able to take some time out, walks on the beach and that. Turned into quite the ramblers. Mm. Well, no, I won't go that far. It was nice, though. It was calming, I suppose. Good. Here yeah, we could go for a little stroll in a bit, if you like. Round here? Yeah, well, I mean, I know it's not exactly the rolling hills of County Kildare, but... You can say that, I can. No, go on, then. Yeah, I'd like that. OK, I'm just going to put some shoes on. <sighs> Listen, I didn't want to say anything in front of Michelle, but... I went to collect Rory's ashes, like you asked. Oh, I'm sorry, love. No, it's all right. You know, I think she's a lot stronger now. She looks good, and you look good together. And there is one other thing. <laughs> you got a save the date card from Nick and Leanne. Well, I probably thought they had to. Might look weird if they hadn't, you know. Mm. Anyway, their wedding's the least of my problems. All about Michelle now. Mm. So, uh, so where is he? Actually, Nick, he's, uh, he's not here. Uh, ooh, what do you mean, not here? Well, he's, he's gone to a party at the Trafford Centre. Well, hold on. You, <laughs> you let him go to a shopping centre? On his own? at night and you didn't think to run this past Leanne. But look, Leanne's not his only parent. OK, so uh, what time did you tell him to come back? Well, I dropped him off and then I said to ring me when he wanted to pick him up. OK, so uh, has he called you? No, he's mobile straight to a voicemail. <laughs> oh, Peter. I mean, this is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, he could be anywhere. I know that. You don't need to tell me that. How could you let him go like that? I He's 13. You, I took him there, I dropped him off, I told him to call me when he'd done. OK. I'll try his mobile again. No, I just did. Right. He comes back, tell him to come. Well, hang on. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to look for him, but first I'm going to get Leanne, which is what you should have done before you let All him right, run around just, just hang on, let's wait. What, are you kidding me? No, look, Peter's right. The last thing she needs is to get stressed out, and this is going to stress her out. The best thing we can do is me and you will go look for him. OK, right, so uh, who's he with? Uh, that girl. Daisy. Uh, Daisy, yeah. If he calls or he phones, he's... People mean well, they just don't know what to say, do they? I know that's when they start with at least on a punch you know? oh, at least you got to hold him. At least you could try again. At least you got each other, eh? Yeah, it's all true, though, isn't it? Yeah, I know that. It make things easier, though, does it? Uh, my mum picked up Rory's ashes while we were away. Good. At least we got to go for a nice walk. Mm. Hello. Aren't you supposed to be uh, flambeing something or whatever it is you fancy chefs do? To be honest, I'm flambeed out. It's all, uh, how was the Emerald Isle? Yeah, it was good, thanks. Yeah, be yeah, peaceful. Lots of eating, lots of walking. Listen, I, um, I never got a chance to thank you properly for what you did for Michelle that night. Oh, there's no need. No, there's every need. 
Uh, actually, babe, I'm a bit cold now we've stopped. Uh, yeah, co well, all right. Well, uh, you go in and I'll be in in a minute. Night. Night. Yeah, she was in a really bad place. I'm just really grateful you were there, you know. Well, she's, uh, she's looking well. Yeah. Yeah, she's getting there. Just let me know if I can do anything. Yeah, cheers, mate. Where's Si? He's not answering his phone. OK, now, I don't want you getting stressed. He went to the Trafford Centre to meet some mates. Or rather, Peter took him. Well, when was this? Earlier, it was some birthday thing. Now, we've tried getting hold of him, but we think his phone's dead. What, and you didn't make sure it was charged before he left? No, of course you didn't. Where's Peter? Gone to try and find him. What, with Nick? Look, I'm sure he's fine. Oh, are you? You know, it was all over the news yesterday that a kid went missing, so forgive me if I don't think that he's fine. Who's he meeting, anyway? Uh, all I know, it was his girl Daisy's birthday. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to try and track him down, aren't I? And I swear to God, if anything's happened to him, I'll never forgive you or your boyfriend. And you don't have to do this now, you know. No, I know. I'm OK. I've been so worried about giving this to you. Both to it. It's good to have him home. I'm sorry. Hey, listen. <laughs> you would never have to apologize to me for anything, okay? <laughs> I thought I could handle it. It's just so hard. I know, I know. I wish I could make it better, babe, but I can't, and I'm sorry. It'll get easier, though, won't it? Listen. Listen, there's bound to be ups and downs, but given time, definitely more ups and downs, OK? Promise. <sighs> as long as we've got each other, that's all that matters. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <sighs> I'd quite forgotten the joy of immersing oneself in the world of pure imagination. <laughs> As Willy Wonka would say. <laughs> Could do with a bit of escapism myself at the moment. Forgive me for being presumptuous. I know I'm no Erica, alas. But if there's something you wanted to talk about... Oh. I, uh, I had to give Michelle the baby's ashes earlier. Shake me up a bit, I suppose. Oh, dear. How sad. But... Hopefully he'll give her closure, and, and you and Steve, of course. Yeah, at least we've got each other. <laughs> yes. Although losing a child can be a very lonely journey, I've found. Oh. <laughs> How is she? She's having a bath. And you? No, yeah, you know. Have you decided what you're going to do with them? The ashes, I mean. Mm, yeah. Right? Is Amy in? Uh, no, she's sat at me. Right, don't matter. Diane? Simon's gone to some girl's birthday party at the Trafford Centre and he's not come home yet. I've tried his phone. Sorry. Um, I've tried his mates. Yeah, they were all together, then they all split up and left and no one's seen him since. You know, this is all his fault. Yeah, Nick? No, not Nick's. Peter's. Call himself a father. Anyway, I need to go. I need to find him. Oh, Leanne, listen, you need to calm down for a minute. Think of the baby. Simon? Oh, wh where have you been? Why didn't you call? This is his mum. Found him on the street. My phone was dead, so I couldn't call Dad. Oh, well, why didn't you use somebody else's? Everyone had gone. I didn't know Dad's number. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Look, in future, it might be an idea to make sure his phone's charged before he goes out. Night, Simon. Night. Thanks again. 
Where's my dad? He's on his way back. I'm really sorry. It's all right. It's not your fault, right? Go on, go and get your stuff. Well, at least it'll give him a story to tell his mates, eh? Are you kidding me? I've been worried sick. Anything could have happened to him. Yeah, but it didn't, did it? And I was worried too, you know. Where is it? Oh, I don't even want to look at you. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. I'm sorry. Oh, well, don't worry. Okay. Right, come on, Sarah, let's go. And the reason I was worried and you weren't is because I'm his mother. And it's a completely different ball game. And until you've been there, you won't have a clue what you've just put me through. to kiss Robert. What? When? The night I went missing and he found me. My, my head was all over the place after Rory and he was there and it meant nothing. So why say anything then? If it meant nothing, why say anything? Because I had to. Look at you know that I'd been drinking and oh God, I wasn't in my right mind, Steve. I, I think it was just wanting to feel something other than pain. When we saw him, was that why he was so awkward? N no, it wasn't. He pushed me away. He did not do anything wrong. It was me. And I'm so sorry. What if he hadn't pushed you away? Oh, Steve, I wasn't thinking. It was a massive mistake. And I realised that immediately. It was a moment of madness, literally. It's you that I love. No one else, you know that. It was just a moment. You know, after all that stuff happened with Will, we promised that we'd always be honest with each other. After everything that we've been through, if we can't do that, then... Please say something. why you did what you did. Like you said, you yeah, weren't in your right mind, so... I thought you'd hate me. How could I? Look, whatever happens or has happened, you're the love of my life and you know that, don't you? Oh! Flaming egg. You all right? Yeah, just forgot me wallet and the shopping list. That's all over the place. What? It's hardly surprising, is it? Listen, you may as well know. Michelle told me. I told you what? About her trying to kiss you. Oh, uh, yeah, but it wasn't like that. She was she was in bits, wasn't she? She, she needed someone. It's I just right, I'm not I'm not angry. I know she really regretted it, so. Yeah, right. I just don't want it to come in the way of you and her being mates, that's all. Because she needs all the support she can get right now. All right, good girl. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Hi, Steve. Hey. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Just needed to be on my own for a bit. I shouldn't, but just kind of thinking about all the things we'll never get to do. 
hearing his first words, watching him take his first step, just holding him in my arms, listening to him breathe. I don't know what to say, babe. It's not fair. It's not right. I hate thinking of him being in there. In a box. You know. Listen. Why don't we go out somewhere? Go for a drive or something? I'm not sure I'd be very good company right now, babe. I know, but I mean all three of us. Oh, food poisoning. <laughs> yes, it is ironic. Just make sure you come in tomorrow, all right? Hey, everything all right? Uh, not really. We're short stuffed. One of our deliveries hasn't shown, and we've got a table for nine coming in late. Oh. Where do you want these? Oh, uh, it's over there. How's it getting on? Ah, well, as far as loading the dishwasher goes, he's a natural. <laughs> Maybe he's found his calling. Well, it saves on the university fees, I suppose. I heard that. <laughs> well, at least it keeps him out of mischief during the holidays. Is Nick about? Uh, no, he's had to go into town. Oh, I'm so bored. I was hoping we could have lunch together. Hey, maybe I could give you a hand. Uh, no chance. Oh, come on. I'm pregnant, not helpless. Ooh. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Right, Leanne, you sit down. I'm going to get you a glass of water. Uh, yeah, thanks. Get it! Go on! Don't mind me bringing the pooch, do you? No, don't be daft. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I always wanted to live by the sea. Really? You never said? Mm. I think it's to do with spending summers in Ireland. Seems like every other weekend, me and our Liam and Paul and me mum and dad drive out to a beach somewhere. Where'd you used to go? Valley Castle, White Rocks, Giant's Causeway. Have you ever been there? No. Oh, we've got to go there. It's incredible. Why do they call it that? Well, the story goes that there was an Irish giant and a Scottish giant, and they had a bit of a fallout about something or other. And the Irish giant decided he was going to build a causeway, like a bridge across the sea, so that they can have a fight and settle it. Only when he sees the Scottish giant come in, he thinks to himself, hang on a minute, I'm not going to win this. So his wife had an idea. Oh, uh, being the clever one? Obviously, yeah. And the idea was? To dress him up. As? A baby. And then when the Scottish giant came and saw him lying there in the cradle, he thought, if that's the size of their kids, I'm off. And he did a runner. It's just a story, of course. Hmm. Oh, could you just... The tide's going out, babe. Come here. Shall we let him go? Come I love you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you know, more lies. <laughs> Might come in. Ready? See you later. Right, come Hello. on, monkey. See you, little man. Uh, can you just wait here? Why are you off? Uh, look, I won't be long. Hiya. Uh, I've got an appointment booked, Mr Barlow, but I'm a bit early. That's fine if you just take a seat. OK, thank you. Hey, I want to talk to you. Well, tough, cos I'm not listening. Oh, but you'll listen to Eva. What are you on about? Well, I just saw you both. Chatting, laughing and joking. So? So I'm your sister too, in case you've forgotten. Oh, some sister. I've been off with my ex-husband behind me back. Oh, and you're so perfect. Oh, do you know what? I haven't got time for this. Just bog off, will you? No, not until we've had this out. Do you know what? I I'm sick of you acting like you're the only one who's got any feelings. I mean, how do you think I felt when you said that about me not being a mum? Well? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I just want to go on. Sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, now what's happening? Well, how should I know? <gasps> oh, it's <clears> me, <throat> you dozy cow. Oh, oh, oh. Must have been a power cut. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, it's not working. It's not working. <sighs> uh... You okay? Yeah. About heading home. Rover! Rover! Well, come here! Rover, I'm telling you, you don't come here now, there's no more treats for you! Rover, you silly furry nub! Get in, you hurry! No, it's no good. Even the alarm button's not Just working. try it again. I tried it. Sorry, I'll call someone. Oh, hey, your boyfriend. Oh, give it a rest, will you? Do you know what? I wouldn't even be stuck in this lift. If... Flaming hell. What? I'm supposed to be meeting him. Oh, what? Going on a nice romantic meal somewhere, are we? Or just a quick one back at his place? If you must know, we had an appointment at an IVF clinic. Well, you just have to make another one then, won't you? Yeah. Do you have any idea how much that's going to cost? <sighs> oh, I don't believe it. Oh, what now? I can't get a signal. Well, it's probably because you're in a lift. Oh, do you think? Try your phone. <sighs> I haven't got it. What? I've left it in the flat. Well, what did you leave it in the flat for? Because I didn't know I was going to get stuck in a lift where you did, I so just get out of my face. <sighs> oh. Oh, no, no. No, not here, not now. No, what is it? What's wrong? I think my walls have just broken. Oh. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. I don't believe this. Look, don't worry, it's going to be all right. How's it going to be all right? My waters have just broken and I'm stuck in a lift with you. I don't want to be here either, you know. Help! What are you doing? I'm singing Beatles songs. What do you think I'm doing? Help! What I mean is you should stay calm, you know, save your energy just in case. I'm not having a baby in this lift. Well, do you know what? You might not have a choice. We could be here all night. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. I feel really calm now. Thank you very much. Look, this isn't my fault, you know. I didn't I didn't make the lift break down. I certainly didn't knock you up, so I don't know why you keep having to go at me. Because you're the only one here. Oh, shut up! Hello? Robert? Leanne? Is that you? Yeah, yeah, listen. Me and Tyler were stuck in the lift. Uh, yeah, there was a, a power cut, I think. You're you right. No, we're not. She's having a baby. Ugh, how many times I'm not having a baby in this lift? A lot of waters are broken and I've tried calling for help, but I can't get a signal. OK, listen, uh, I'm going to call an ambulance. Oh. What's happening? Uh, I think she started her contractions. Oh. I'm calling her now. Oh. Oh. Oh, I really hurt. <laughs> Look, it's OK, I'm here. Oh. Oh. I don't think this changes anything. You're still not coming to the wedding. Fine, I don't want to come to your stupid wedding anyway. Oh. He's easing off a bit. A bit. Oh, come on, Nick. Answer, will ya? 
All right, what's up? Uh, lift's broken down. Leanne's trapped in there with her sister. She's having the baby. If you killed an ambulance? Yeah, yeah, it's on its way, I hope. Uh, what about forcing the doors open? I tried, but no chance. She wants Nick. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying, but he's not picking up. Listen, Johnny's here now, so I'm going to go to the medical centre and then I'll try again. Just wait there. Well, of course we're going to wait here. We're flaming trapped, aren't we? After you've done that, got the garage or the uh, builder's yard, see if you can find a crowbar where we can get these doors open. <sighs> oh, well, could you call Peter and let him know what's going on? Yeah, OK, OK. <laughs> call Peter, he won't be any help. Oh, but you know what? You need to get over this. Get over what? Me and him being together. I oh, thought you worry. I'm over it. You two deserve each other. Oh, and what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> You're both a couple of liars. Lying, sneaking around behind people's backs. <laughs> Says the woman having Steve McDonald's love child. That was a one-off. It was a mistake. <laughs> well, a pretty big one, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, and do you know what? If you're so over it, then why are you bothered about us being together? <laughs> because no matter what he says, he screws up people's lives. He did it to me, he did it to Simon, and he did it to Carla. And he's going to do the same to you. No, oh, Miranda, I'm having another. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Anna, how are you? Yeah, great. Hello. Uh, yeah. Any sign of that ambulance yet? We'll let you know as soon as they get here. Just remember, try and take hard and take deep breaths. We're all here for you. Do you know what? I uh, read somewhere that it can help with the pain if you walk around a bit. We're in a lift. Uh, we'll get on all fours then. Oh, shut up. Look, do you know, I might not be a midwife or a mum, but I have done my research. Listen, you are going to have this baby, whether you like it or not, so. I'm scared. Oh. So you, you, listen, you are going to be fine. I can't do it. Trust me, of course you can. Of course you can. Come on. I can't do it. Of course you can do it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Where's Nick? Uh, Robert must still be looking for him. Right, Toya, how far apart are contractions? Oh, I don't know, maybe a minute. Uh, Leanne, the ambulance is here. Oh, it's uh, way, the ambulance is here, it's uh, going to be all right. Uh, something's wrong. What? I can feel it, something's wrong. Right, like, this isn't normal, no, 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 listen, you're just frightened, that's all. Uh, yeah, frightened. Frightened of the same thing that's happened to me, Charles, could happen to me. Oh, no. <laughs> the baby Rory died in the hospital. They couldn't save him. Why is something got shocking to you? Right, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Right, you are not going to lose this baby, OK? You're not. Oh, are you? Good afternoon. Hey, Roy, are you not stopping him for a drink? Only, uh, Brian's in there. Is he? <laughs> I heard about you falling out. He told you? Oh, it's all he can talk about. Literally, all he can talk about. Hey. Why don't you come in? Have a word. I do know he'd appreciate it. Perhaps another time. Nick! What? Nick! What the hell do you think you're doing? You need to get over to the flats. Leanne's having a baby in a lift. Oh, I'm joking. Do I look like I'm joking? All right. Leanne's in labour. What? Did I hear right about Leanne? Uh, yeah. Is she OK? I don't know. Listen, I've got to... Oh, uh, Liz, you don't... I'm to have a crowbar, do you? Never mind. What's happening? Um, Leanne? Do where's Nick? I'm here, sweetheart. I'm here. No! I can't get the doors open. Has anyone called the fire service? I think so. It sounds like she's fully dilated. Toya? Yeah? We can't get the lift doors yeah. open. So you're going to have to help us out. Understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. OK, just nice deep breaths. <laughs> Is the baby coming? Yeah. Do you see anything? 
Oh. <sighs> yeah, I can see the top of his head. Come on, come on, push. Come on. She'll be fine, you know. She's stronger than she looks, Alia. Look, you need that, I promise. You took your time. Where's the crowbar? I couldn't find one anyway. The builder's yard was closed. I tried the garage, but it was... Shh, be quiet. <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow! Oh, come here! Oh, hello! Hello, my beautiful boy! Hello! You did it! Oh, we did it! Oh, it's okay! It's okay, I'm sorry, it's okay! Oh. Look at the state here. Can you smell a fish and all? I think somebody needs a butt after her. Yeah, me, I'm freezing. Why don't you uh, come in the yard with us and I'll hose you down and all? Oh, well, thank you. I think I'll give that one a miss, though. I'm very proud of you, you know. Why? Because I know how difficult today's been for you. How difficult the whole thing's been for you. Yeah, not just for me. Right, you. Get you cleaned up and looking beautiful again, shall we? I didn't know you were back. How did it go? Hmm. Quite easy, let's put it that way. Steve, there's something you should know. Leanne is stuck in a lift at the flats. And she's gone into labour. She's stuck in a lift? So Robert said, anyway. You're gonna go over? Well, can I? Besides, you know... I need to be here, don't I, for Michelle? She needs me. The yeah, and the fire service are here. They're gonna get you out. Is everything okay? Yeah, we're okay. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm flaming exhausted. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for helping me. And listen, I'm sorry you missed your appointment at the clinic. Oh, at least I had a good excuse, eh? Mm. So does this mean I can come to your wedding, then? Mm. What do you think? Mm. Oh, finally. Oh. <laughs> hey, fancy seeing you here. We were worried there for a sec. Worried? I was terrified. Yeah, sorry about that. I just need to check you over. Uh, well, we'll get off. Hey, uh, yeah, be enough. Really pleased with you. Cheers. <laughs> oh, oh. Peter, it's me. Look, I'm, I'm so sorry I couldn't make the appointment. I'll, I'll, I'll explain everything later, but I just... I just wanted to let you know that Leanne's had a baby, and, uh, oh, he's gorgeous. Call me when you get this. I love you. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look. Look, it's Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Any news? Uh, yes, we haven't had a baby, a boy. <laughs> Two large whiskies, please, Liz. It's not every day you get to help deliver a baby in a lift. Are they both okay? Uh, yeah, they're fine. The paramedics are with them now. How about you? Yeah, fine. Really? Oh, it's okay, that's the. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go and feed Rover back in a bit. Hey, what's happened? Tell him we're both fine. Sure. You all right? You're not fine, I'm just filling up here. Look, uh, stop worrying about everyone else, okay? Get some rest, eh? Yeah, I'll try. I love you. I love you too. Go back to bed. No, I think I might go for a run. What now?
Did you even consider it? Oh, Nick, please, not now. Well, Steve's happy for me to go on the birth certificate. We're getting married. All oh, right, all right. Do you want to wake him up? This is something I've forgotten to prove how committed I am. Have you finished all your packing? Says I need wellies for the Eden project. I don't own any wellies. Can I ask you a question? I don't usually ask permission. Well, I saw how you were about baby Oliver. It really helped me spending time with him. You know, maybe when you feel ready. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, there's no rush, is there? No, of course not, but there's something else. <sighs> okay. When I held him, I realised I still want a baby. You think it's a terrible idea? I'm sorry, it's too soon. I just... No, no, it's fine. You know, my hormones are still crashing around. I'm just everything. already frightened. <sighs> yeah, me too. I'm frightened that, you know, we might get false alarms or something might go wrong Look, or... if we... <laughs> we can survive this, we can survive anything. I just don't know what I'm feeling from one day to the next. So, you don't want to try for another baby then? Look, I don't want to do anything that feels like we're trying to replace Rory. Well, that'll never happen, will it? And if I was to get pregnant again, I don't want to forget him. I love you. He's brought us closer together. Listen, we can carry on thinking and carry on talking. Like a book at the table tonight, the bistro. But yeah, just the two of us. Oh, uh, any chance of a table for two tonight? Early's good for us, about 6 30 ish. 6 is fine. Could we have a, a quiet table, please? Yeah, no problem. I'll pop it in the book. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, well, I'm um, I'm wondering about a party. I'm not sure how many yet, just friends and family, that sort of thing. OK. Yeah, drinks and nibbles to welcome my new grandchild into the fam. Any dates in mind? Well, uh, not yet, but uh, soon. I mean, I've got to speak to David and Sarah and my mum and the kids and Nick and Leo. <laughs> do you have a ballpark idea of the day? How much notice do you need? Well, we can do it today if you want. Where's the door in, Dad? Oh, he's gone for a run. Was well, he avoiding his nappy duties already? No, we're taking turns. Oh, uh, Max wants to know if you've given Ollie a middle name. He's not got one and he's got middle name Envy. Ah, uh, we're still discussing it. Well, have you not had him registered yet? You've got a shift on with that, really, shouldn't you? I mean, personally, I'm not bothered if... Max had a middle name or not, it could be Max Spider-Man for all I care. I just wish he was a plat, not a turner. See it on his school book sometimes and, I don't know, it just looks wrong. I didn't think it'd bother me, but... Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, a word of warning, my mum is throwing a party to welcome Ollie into the family. Oh, really? Yeah, I know, nightmare, but... Gail does love being a granny, so... I'll keep you posted. Yeah, thanks. There was a spark. Oh, there was definitely a spark. You could start a fire with a spark that big. Well, what about Roy? What about him? Well, her ex fiance his new flatmate. Mm, I see what you mean. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, ladies. <laughs> hello. You stop meeting like this? Yes. <laughs> My grandchild. Hmm. Never thought I'd hear myself say those words. <laughs> But every time I look at his fat little face, it, it tugs at my heartstrings. <laughs> you must be very proud. Couldn't be prouder. I just wished I lived a little bit closer so I could see him growing up. I, I, I miss Jude growing up too. But then we all have regrets, don't we? <laughs> well, except Edith Piaf, of course. <laughs> but I, I, I'm, I'm not sure she was telling the truth anyway. <laughs> I 
just saw Liam taking the baby for a walk. Well, uh, my family's here. So. Don't you feel anything? I love my daughter. I love my wife. I even love my mother. That's enough for me. What was that, Marathon? Oliver. Yeah, he's good. I took him for a walk earlier and I bumped into your David. It got me thinking. Thinking about what? About putting your name on the birth certificate. I want you to be Ollie's dad. You. Only you. you serious? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> oh. You're really sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and have a shower. Okay. And then we can go to the register's office. All three of us? Yeah. You've no idea what this means to me. You all right? I have news. Oh, no, not now. I'm on the way to the register office. This is far more important. Oh, I disagree. I mean, I have an appointment. Gail is organising an impromptu baby's head wetting party thing. Oh, great. Now. There's cake. I didn't want you. Well, who organises a party with no notice? I think she just assumed you'd be inside all day, feeding, changing nappies. I've cancelled clients. Sarah's juggled the shifts. It's a done deal. <sighs> Yeah, it sounds like your mum's gone to a lot of trouble. She has. Oh, oh, all right, all right, come on. Let's go party. Give us five minutes, I'll get the buggy. All right. We can put him in that baby coat Gran gave us. Yeah. Come on then, party boy. <sighs> so how long has Peter been seeing Tony then? I don't know. What, he didn't tell you? Um. I thought you two shared all your secrets. Well, you know what Peter's like. They never know what's going on in his head. Mm. That's Leanne I feel sorry for. Jim finding out that your ex is going out with your sister. Well, both single. I don't see why they can't. What? Well, because he's her ex and she's her sister. Imagine if we broke up and I started seeing Andy. Yeah, I see your point. Don't do that. <laughs> mm, I won't. Kate, why didn't you tell me Steve and Michelle were booked in for dinner? Because I put it in the book. Why? What's the problem? Uh, what? The problem is... <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, is everything ready for our baby party? Uh, yes, it is. Do you want me to stick around? No, you enjoy your night off. Hello. Oh, hi. Who's in the pub? Liz has given me the hour off. Oh. Oh, that's how she can manage. Yeah, because we're, um, having a little bit of a party for baby Oliver. Oh, no, that's fine. Honestly, we're fine, aren't we? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, where are they? They're on the way. Where's my mum? Oh, she's poorly. She said we should carry on without her. How do you mean, Paula? Oh, she reckons it was a tuna mayo sarni. She needs to be close to the bathroom. There you go, fresh from the oven. Oh, lovely. Oh. Uh, not until they get you. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. Where's Gran? Uh, Dickie told me. Oh, well, we'll put him in the baby girl she got. She said to carry on without her. Thought you'd done a runner? Ha! <laughs> no way, I'd miss a party for my baby. Now you can have a drink. <coughs> Gail's loving this, isn't she? Mm. You don't have to stay, you know. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> You're joining us? Uh, of course. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations to you both. Now, has everybody got a glass? I haven't. Well, should you be even drinking? No. There's one glass, Mother. Chill out. Oh, <laughs> Can I have a bit of quiet, please? Oh, you're not going to make a speech, yes, are you? Yes, I am going to make a speech. Oh, Mum, come on, hurry up. I'm starving. Yeah, me too. All right, go for it, Grandma. Thank you. Now, where have I put my notes? <laughs> oh, you're joking. <laughs> 
<laughs> but days like this don't come along too often, which is why I bullied you all to be here today. I am so proud to be the mother of three beautiful children. And I'm even prouder that they've now all got children of their own. But I can see you just staring at the food. So I'll just say, hello, Oliver. You are part of our family now and for always. To Oliver. Oliver. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just going to the bathroom. I'm fine, honestly. This is good. Don't eat all them nuts. Mm. All right, smile. Yes, say baby. 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 <laughs> you really do make a lovely couple. Uh, is Michelle OK? Yeah, she's there. Just nipped to the loop. Oh, uh, I meant to say, uh, there's a telly in the office if the kids get bored. OK, thanks. Steve, if you just do us a favour, just take a picture of the whole family. I'm not very good with phones. I oh, know, it's easy. You just point and click, that's it. Take, take two minutes. Right, guys, if you want to huddle up, I've got us a photographer. Yeah. Oh, baby in the front. Come on in, come on in. <laughs> right, come on, proud grandma's at the front too. Right, just get in a bit Good closer. Uh, okay, ready? Next time yeah. we do this, it'll be the wedding. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Hey, cheese. Right, yeah, I think I got it. Great. Great. Cheers. Thanks, Steve. Right, here's a go, my nephew, then. Right, we'll just hold his head. Yeah, I know how to hold a baby. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Oh, uh, look. He's got your nose, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Better than your ears, I suppose. Yeah, quite a pound. Show me all right. I'll get some crisscross. Yeah. It's good to see happy people, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, it's my well, but can you bring the brush, please? Sorry. Yeah, I'm fine. Can we just go home? Like, this is too much. Can you get a brush? Just get a brush. Can we just get a brush? Yeah, I've got one. Steve? Steve? I'm so sorry. My son. This is my son. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Cracked. Steve, give me the baby. I'm so sorry, babe. What's he talking about? I asked you a question. I wanted to tell you so many times, oh. Lynch. I... Oh. Michelle! Michelle! I don't think she wants to see you right oh, now. Look, she's my wife. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before. Do you know about this? Yeah, aren't you? You're not the father. I am the father. You slept with Leanne? <sighs> there was one night, me and Michelle would split. Uh, you playing that? We had an agreement. I don't know. I couldn't stop me. Well, I don't know what you want. But if you think you're going to play any part in my son's upbringing, you're wrong. Words fail me. Oh, Michelle's in there. He won't let me through. And she's on her own. I'll come with you. No, you won't. This is my mess. When did she tell you you weren't the father? Does it matter? She told me. He lied to us. Leanne was worried she'd never have another chance to have a baby. Unlike Steve McDonald, who seems to be able to impregnate every woman he looks at. Shh. Baby died. And I thought my life was messed up. 
Wait, so were you going to bring him up as your own? I still am. With the whole world laughing at you? What, like me and Max, you mean? Is that what you think? No, that's not what I think. I chose Leanne. I chose Simon. I chose Oliver. I loved them all. This is my family. I'm not going to let Steve McDonald ruin that. Can we maybe take this family discussion somewhere else? What, are you chucking us out now? I'm thinking what Michelle might walk out to. Why couldn't you just tell us the oh, truth? Please, please. Just go and check on the kids, OK? Oh, wait for Leanne. We'll see you at home. Don't make a table, Ollie. Yeah, it'd be great, thanks. Come on. Hey, there we go. Uh, hey, uh, oh. we'll join you in a minute. All right. Can't put this genie back in the bottle. marriage was over. I was in a really bad place. No excuses, it was wrong. But we never meant to hurt you. We never had feelings for each other. And I never, ever expected to get pregnant. Oh, what kind of a woman are you? Celebrated our uh, pregnancies together. Oh. Seeing you pregnant made me want to have another baby. You tried to talk me out of it. And then two days ago, you handed me my husband's baby. When my baby is died. Why mine? Why Rory? Why got your baby not have died? Thanks. You got nothing. You can't cut me out. Watch me. I need needs changing. You know? I'm just gonna take it. It's all right, it's all right. I'll take it. Hey, hey, hey. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> Nick, I'm worried about you. Don't be. Look at me, I'm fine. You go home, we'll be there soon. And you can go as well. You heard it. I'm going nowhere. Oh, Michelle. 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 Baby. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Dear Brew, I've just put the kettle on. Oh, yeah, go on then. Oh, how was the party? Um, yeah, it was fine. Good. She doesn't know. Well, it's not my job to tell her. Shell! No! You know what? I always knew you were an idiot, but you were my idiot! Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know what? No, because, because I'm the idiot, Anna. I'm the idiot for ever trusting you, for ever believing a single word that comes out of your mouth. You're right. You're right. <laughs> OK? I did a stupid thing, but you were gone. <laughs> I didn't know she was going to go and get flipping pregnant. Do you know what? I've heard it all before. Karen heard it all before. Becky heard it all before. Save your breath! Michelle, I've just punched Leanne in the face, and do you know what? It felt really good. And right now, a punch in the face is nowhere near what I want to do to you. So I suggest you go back to your son. You know, the one that Leanne managed to carry to full term. 
If she goes to casualty, check it's not broken. I should go and check if Michelle's okay. I think it's a bit late for that. I don't need lessons in morality from you. Right. Is this helping? All as bad as each other. I started this. Right, uh, I'm going to take him home. He's right. We should go to hospital. I'll go with you if you like. I'm fine. I'll be there in a minute. How many times do I have to tell you, leave me alone? Where are you going? I need a drink. They say brandy's good for shock, don't they? I'll have a double brandy. Are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. Michelle. You won't leave me alone, then serve me a drink. Come on! Your wife wants a drink and she wants it now. Michelle, we need to talk. Oh, you want to talk? You want to talk? Okay, come on then. Come on, let's talk. In the back. Why? We've got no secrets now, have we? Not anymore, so I would much rather we do it here. So come on, Stevie, talk to me. You can start by explaining how you managed to get Leanne Battersby pregnant. Yeah. Daddy two sons over here. One alive, one dead. How did you manage to keep that a secret, eh? And still keep it a secret after I lost my son. And then today, as soon as you'd hold son number two, then you want to broadcast it to the whole world. Have I got that right? How could you do something so cruel? Look, this is between you and me. We don't have to tell the whole street. Yeah, yeah I think we should talk about this. Oh, in no, private. no, no. Because Steve loves an audience. He's just told the whole bistro. So come on, tell everyone in here, Steve. We're waiting. Not like this, no. How did you end up in bed, William? Did she trick you? Oh, I know. She started turning tricks again, actually. How much does she charge these days? Look, could we please just... I hate you! Oh, 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 right, that's it. I'm closing up. Everybody out the pub shut. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know how to. Go on. No, leave it. I'll do it. So you come back to ours? We've got plenty of space. I'm not finished here. I don't want to think of you on your own. Please, honestly, I'm fine. I'll call you later. Oliver. Sleeping. You okay? This is hard work. It was always going to happen one day, wasn't it? But we can still be a family. Me, you, Simon, and Oliver. Except uh, I'm not on the birth certificate, am I? Close, but no cigar. <sighs> oh, maybe he knows what's going on. Just go and see to him. Uh, I'm going to go for a run. What, now? Yeah, uh, I think when I run. I've got a lot to think about. What possessed you? You knew. Oh, I wish I hadn't. I can't stand to look at either of you. Michelle, I'm not even going to try and defend him because I can't! <sighs> As soon as I knew, I told him to tell you the truth, but he said he couldn't because he knew he was going to lose you. Well, he got one thing right. Look, if we could just... Don't talk, talk to me. But... I said don't. A few hours ago... I didn't think there was anyone I could love more than you. And now... Nothing. But I love you, Michelle. 
Which is why I couldn't keep lying to you. But we can survive this. No. You killed us. Where are you going? Away from you. Don't follow me. Ha, ha, ha.